Hello everyone, Victor with you once again with yet another trade idea for the coming week. Before we start, I would like to remind you all the information in this video is purely for educational purpose and should not be considered as a financial advice. Let's start with our previous ideas, just an update quickly on each and every one and we will see what's happening. The oldest pound Australian dollar uh, not reached the target yet, but still expecting this decline uh, to go towards the target. Next, Australian Japanese yen should be closing the gap, so maybe another wave to the upside. Australian Swiss franc, we're expecting the second target to be reached, although correction is also possible towards this support uh, with the 200 simple moving average. Pound Swiss franc. We are looking at this resistance, which is still holding for our failed to close above the resistance. So it is still bearish, especially we haven't broke this resistance where the moving average was rejected. So this could be a pretty heavy downtrend expected unless we break above this resistance. I watch, I'm watching actually the daily close, which is most important in this case. The Friday idea was the pound versus Canadian dollar. We are suggesting that price might be moving towards the 61.8 Fibonacci support. The idea was to wait for, for the Monday opening price and see if there won't be any gap above this resistance level. So we see that there are some opportunities here to the downside as long as this resistance is holding. And for today's idea, guys, we will look at the pound versus um, euro. So euro GBP. In this, I, this idea is actually very simple, uh, but it could be quite powerful simply because of, of some simple um, price actions. You can see that on the weekly chart, we are rejecting the uh, 200 moving average, which is very good for for some sort of correction. At the same time, we had a clean bounce of 61.8 FIBs. Price went lower, produced a spike, but failed to close below. This is also a bullish sign. I'm not sure whether it's going to be an uptrend, but it should at least correct to the nearest Fibonacci resistance at 50% retracement, which is 0.8888 area. If we move on to the daily chart, it's a similar picture where the exponential moving average is being rejected. So this is also very good. We have in two time frames, moving average is being rejected and still here is the same Fibonacci applied. We can see and we would expect this correction to the upside. Now let's move on to the four hour chart. On the four hour chart, uh, there are two moving averages, exponential and simple. Basically they did cross suggesting that the trend is changing. Although here, price failed to produce a new lower low. It did produce actually, but it failed to close below the previous low, which is also a very bullish case. There was a spike and now only if this spike will be broken, the lowest point, which is 0 0.8722, only if there will be a four hour close, preferably a daily close, only then price would be going down. But for now we would expect the uptrend well, the correction to start. So entry point is around this price is good. It could be uh, slightly higher. So overall, the entry point between um, area of 87.70 and 87.30 could be good towards the 88, uh, 0 0.8888 target. Now on the 30 minute chart, also, I was looking at the Fibonacci's and we see that 88.6 was rejected, although there was a bounce of 61.8. And if this level now will be broken with one hour close above it, it could be that confirmation. Uh, so we're waiting what will happen here, whether it will close above or not. But this could be actually uh, the entry point for bulls to go for the for the buy trade towards our uh, resistance area. So that's that's the idea for the next couple of days. Perhaps it will last until the end of the week. 
not sure how long it's gonna take uh, it's 120 130 points so that's um, not a big move so it's only a small correction and it could could last a couple of days maybe less um, that's the idea for for this Monday hope you enjoyed it if you did don't forget to put the like button and subscribe for our next trade idea